sixth grade, module six, lesson 17, classwork, developing a statistical project. Classwork, review of statistical questions. Statistical questions you investigate in this module include the following. How many hours of sleep do sixth graders typically get on a night when there is school the next day? What's the typical number of books read over the course of six months by a sixth grader? If you want, you can pause it and read all of these different data points, but I'm gonna skip down to what do these questions have in common? So all of these questions can be answered with a number. So notice that how many hours, that might be like three, four, five, six. What's the typical number? So like maybe you read eight books, 10 books. Typical heart rate, that's a number. How many hours, head circumference, battery life, how many pets, how long? So notice every single one can be answered with a number, meaning it's data that we can collect. So what do they have in common? They are statistical questions because they can be answered by collecting data. And we can say there's also variability in the data. Not everyone's answer is going to be the same thing. So there's also there's variability in the data. OK, why do several of these questions include the word typical? Um, it might be typical because, for example, if you were asking someone how many hours a night do you sleep, you don't sleep the same hours hours of night every single night probably. Sometimes you sleep more, sometimes you sleep less, but it's asking typical. So I would say on average I sleep about six or seven hours a night. Maybe you're a little bit more, so I would I'd probably choose seven. So you're just picking what is typical, what happens the most often. So let's say typical suggests finding a single number that summarizes um, an answer or the data collected. Right, you can have people picking more than one answer. You just got to find what's typical and go with that. A review of statistical investigation. Recall from the very first lesson in this module that a statistical question is a question answered by data that you anticipate will vary. Let's review the steps of a statistical investigation. Step one, pose a question that can be answered by data. Step two, collect appropriate data. Step three, summarize the data with graphs and numerical summaries. And step four, answer the question posed in step one using the numerical summaries and graphs. The first step to pose a statistical question, select one of the questions investigated in this module and write it in the following statistical study review template. So first step is to choose, choose one of these and write it down there. So if you're doing with this with me and you're doing it at home, um, you are probably not with your class, so you're gonna need to choose something that like you could survey your family members or something. So let's do I would choose how many hours of sleep do sixth graders typically get on a night. Let's say how many hours of sleep do your family members usually get each night. How many hours of sleep do your family members, because these are people you have readily available, get each night, let's say, on the weekend. So I'm changing it up a little bit just because you're probably at home if you're listening to me. Okay, step two, collect the data. So go around, collect the data, pause this, go ask your family members how many hours of sleep they get a night and um, list that data right here. So maybe you might get, see it's the weekend, so maybe they're sleeping a little bit longer let's say maybe you get a nine hours, another nine hours, I'm just gonna make up some data, 10 hours, someone sleeps seven hours and 
six hours. So step three says summarize the data. So this, what you can do is maybe put it into a dot plot. You could do a box plot. Um, so summarizing the data is just a way to um, show what you what the data is saying. So numerical summaries, you could find the MAD, you could find the I median, you could find the IQR. So it's going to be a little bit harder if you only have a few numbers, but if you really want to um, get more data, you could also just make some up for yourself. So step four says to answer the question. So this is when you go back and you look at your summarized, what you've summarized from the data, what your question is, and go ahead and answer it. So what is the average amount of sleep that you get, your family members get each night? Maybe it was like eight and a half hours. And so you can explain what you can see from the data and say from the data, a typical family member of mine gets about blah, 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 number of hours of sleep on a weekend. And you can say, because this is the mean, here's the mad, so there's maybe not a lot of variability, but just kind of explain and answer your own question. All right, developing statistical questions. Now it's your turn to answer a statistical question based on data you collect. Before you collect the data, explore possible statistical questions. For each question, indicate the data that you would collect and summarize to answer the question. Also, indicate how you plan to collect the data. Think of questions that could be answered by data collected from members of your class or school or data that could be collected from recognizing websites, such as the American Statistical Association and the Census at School Project. Your teacher will need to prove both your question and your plan to collect data before data are collected. As a class, explore possibilities for statistical investigation. Record some of the ideas discussed by your class using the following table. All right, so basically you're just coming up with ideas of what if you're going to make your own statistical project, what possible questions you could have. So maybe number of video games played each night. Maybe not number of video games, number, let's say, like hours of video games, or maybe minutes. So you could say minutes of video games played each night. So it could range anywhere from zero minutes to maybe some people play all night long. So how would the data be collected? What data would be collected and how would the data be collected? So you could ask classmates. Um, organize it in a dot plot or a box plot. And so think of a couple more questions of what you could analyze each night. Maybe the number of pets. Um, there's just tons of questions that you can do. And then the rest is just you picking a statistical question that you want to investigate, going through how you propose to collect your data, and then going ahead and getting it approved by your teacher.